This is my background music, so I don't get copyrighted. Oh yeah, subscribe. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello. So today's video is going to be a story time or whatever. I told you I'll be letting you guys know how your girl thought I was going to literally get sued when I was like in what grade was this? Fifth or sixth? Fifth grade. Okay. Before we get into the video, I am going to be telling you guys all about this unit or whatever. I'm really liking it. Look how long it is. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, wow. This unit is from YG Wigs. It came in this box, like a little mini shoe box. The hair is Brazilian human hair, 360 lace frontal. I did have to cut some of the lace off. Um, because it was kind of like too long on my forehead. So this is like the second time I put a wig on my head. I really like how it looks. I wet it and I just put some conditioner in it and this is how it is dry. Like it's, I mean it's still damp some places but when it was really wet it looked really really cute. So maybe I'll wear it like that one day. But this is how it looks dry. I really like it. It's, it's really, it's really like, mm, I wish my hair was this long. It's going to get there. Give me about five years. Ah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I'll insert a video right here of how the wig looks in the inside, like the caps and stuff. I did sew on the elastic band that you guys are seeing. It also came with that. So I sewed that on just to, you know, make it a little more secure. So I got it in the color 1B, which is typically what natural brownish black hair is. I wanted to get something similar, like if you have a similar head shape to me, cause my head is small. So I got a cap size small, this is 22 inches. Um, I'm 5'7", so this is how long it is on me. And I'm 5'7", so if you're shorter than me, it's, it's gonna be long. It lists like a density tag when you order the hair. I got 150%, I'm not sure what that means, but I guess it's like the fullness of it, yeah? Yeah. So it is It is pretty full and it's pretty thick. And like I was saying, it is 360 lace front, so you could wear it up in a ponytail if you want, if you knew how to like glue the back down and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're looking for a unit, I no, like dead ass, you guys, this hair is legit. Like it's so soft and it does shed a little bit, not like extreme, but you know, when you run your fingers through it, um, it did shed a little bit. So yeah, if you do want to check them out, I will link the website at the top of the description. And also I will link this exact unit also in the description so you won't have to like look through their website if you like this one. So yeah, go ahead, click the link, check them out, and let me know if you like it, because I love it. <laughs> so, wait, wait a minute, before I get into the story, you guys see my freaking forehead, do you see this? Oh my God, I'm never wearing foundation ever again if you guys see my last videos of like me trying to full face of makeup in that video i said i know i'm gonna break out but you know i'm trying it for you guys i broke out okay horrible and i said every pimple that i get leaves a dark mark and oh my goodness my forehead is screwed over for life so it's like three of us who are like the main people in this situation. So I'm gonna just tell, I'm gonna give them names. One of them was like my best friend. Um, I'm gonna name her Claire. I don't know. Do I know a Claire? No, but I'm gonna name her Claire. Um, I hope I remember these names. And then I'm gonna name the guy Jordan. Okay. So it was me, Claire, and Jordan. So recess comes around, you know, and we're all in the same class because in fifth grade, you know, you don't switch classes. So we're all in the same class. Recess comes around. We go outside and play. My thing was handball, okay? So as soon as the bell rang, we run to the handball courts. It was actually like courts for handball, okay? But it was just a, a big cement wall, like a little brick wall. And you play handball. And we had rules, okay? And you know how you have like the 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 recess people, the noon duties, uh, how, what are they called? We had specific rules for the handball court, you guys. Listen to the rules. It was no running. <laughs> um, you wait your turn like you stand in line. Um, only two people on the court at a time. Only two people on the court at a time and no running, okay? So me and this dude is playing handball and I normally hung out with Claire and um, 
some of our other friends. But Claire was playing, I think they were like playing kickball over to the side of us. Yeah, they, they, they were playing kickball because how it was set up is like, here's the handball court. Like this is one court, this is one court, and then the grass is like over here. So they were playing like kickball and stuff and in the grass and me and this dude was playing handball. So he hit the ball, the dude hit the ball, and then the ball bounced back to me, and I go and hit the ball, but as it's like bouncing back to me, Claire runs across the handball court, and then I go, I hit the ball, and the ball's going to the thing, and then Jordan runs across the handball court as the ball is going towards the wall, and he's like, the ball goes under him, and he trips, and then all I see is blood. It's just, it's just blood all around him and I'm like, oh shh, I'm going to jail. <laughs> Let me mention that, I'm, I keep wanting to say his real name, but Jordan's mom was actually a teacher at her school. So I was like, oh my God, like as soon as it happened, I wasn't aware of how serious the situation was. I just knew it would, it had to be serious because he was bleeding. So I didn't know like where he was bleeding from or like how he started bleeding. But I need to mention the fact that Jordan wore glasses and the boy was like, this, this boy was like six foot in fifth grade. I'm not even lying. So he wore glasses. He's about six feet. And I seen Jordan hit the floor. Okay, let me get back to that. And the first thing that went to my mind is, oh my God, I'm going to jail. And his mom is suing me because his mom worked at the school. So she's going to find out. Like, I couldn't even lie about the situation because she's going to find out uh, more than just me seeing it happen. So I can't like, you know, this happened. It was like the whole fifth, sixth grade was outside, lined up to play handball, and it was kids in the line, so they seen what happened. Everybody's panicking, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So me and Claire run to um, Jordan's mom's class, and I was like, <sighs> I didn't know what to say. I didn't know if the dude was dead. <laughs> I was really scared, but the only thing that was going through my mind is, oh my God, this lady is about to sue me and my mom is about to beat me. I'm about to go home and get the best whooping of my life, okay? And I had never been whooped before. I was so scared. So I had my kids over here and her classroom was like all the way on the other side of the school. Me and Claire had to run. Like we were running for our life. Run all the way to her classroom. So when we all got back, after I was done explaining, because she had a class going on, so I just bust in there and let her know, like, Jordan's been injured. <laughs> I ran in her classroom like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, but like Jordan was running across. I was just mumbling, you know? She was like, slow down, slow down. So I had to let her know what happened. So from us running there and then running all the way back to the handball courts, it took a minute and by that time the paramedic had already shown up and they were like cleaning him all up and trying to find out where the blood was coming from because it was so much blood and nobody knew like how is there blood like all you did we really didn't even know that he hit his head against the handball court because like the ball went under him under his feet and he just fell so we weren't really aware that he like hit his head and you know the paramedic wipes them all down loads them up they go to the hospital, boy needed stitches. Like, I didn't even know where the blood was coming from, but he needed stitches. So that happens, they leave, and me and Claire is just shook it. And everybody's trying to blame me. This is when I was like, uh-uh, this is not about to go down. I was like, the rules say you're not supposed to run across the handball court. I just knew I was not about to go home and get whooped, and I knew this lady was not about to sue me. And if she was gonna sue me, I was like, I'm not gonna tell my mom that I'm being sued. I don't know what I was thinking. My like fifth grade mind was like, oh, I'll just go to jail, I guess. The noon duties, are they called noon duties? Whatever, the people that watch us, um, no one was around. So it was kind of just my story, the guy's story, a couple of the kids that were in line, and then Jordan's story. And they couldn't get Jordan's story as of that day, but, I just knew that this boy was going to hate me. And I thought like I had messed up his face, he had a concussion, and it was just a lot. Like, it was a lot. And he didn't come to school for like a week. Oh my God. But when he returned to school, I was so scared. But <laughs> he didn't come to school for like a week and um, 
we weren't allowed to play on that handball court anymore because it was like a lot of blood like on the court and like you know blood stains so it was like blood on the wall on the floor and they were trying to get the blood up but we weren't allowed to play on that court and like i said in the beginning we all had class together so he didn't come back to class for about a week and then when he did come back you guys i didn't know how serious it was until like I seen his face and he told like he came back and he was like Deja like it's not your fault I knew I shouldn't have been running like it's okay because when I seen him I literally start crying the boy had like two black eyes he had um oh okay, yeah let me just mention how he started bleeding I guess when he hit the wall his glasses broke and pieces of glass went into his face you guys went into his face and that's how he started bleeding so he came back he had two black eyes he had um like stitch marks from like right here like up and then another one like right here so it was kind of like like this on his face but it was really close to his eye and he had stitches and then he had like a patch over his head but you can see like his black eyes and i was just like oh my god like I really like broke this man's face. I never told my mom because <laughs> I didn't want her to whoop me. Like the boy's eye could have, he could have been blind. If the, if the glass went any closer, like he could have lost an eye. He would have lost his eye. But you know, it wasn't my fault. Like I'm not about to take the blame for that. It wasn't my fault. He shouldn't have been running across the handball court. That's the number one rule. Do not run across the handball court when somebody is playing common sense so yeah that's the story of that i honestly my i never told my mom because i honestly felt like she was going to whoop me even though the boy was like oh like it's my fault i thought i was just gonna get in trouble because i you know i sent him to the hospital he had to get stitches he had two black eyes <sighs> lord and i just never told my mom because i was like mm -mm, i'm not getting in trouble for this mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've been through a lot in school that I've never told my mom and you know what's crazy about like a week after this whole situation happened I gave Claire two black eyes this big like it went like this it was like a crescent moon type of thing and it had chair um like like rows that you can sit in and we would we I ran this way around it she ran this way around it and we met in the middle and I guess we were running a little too fast but we hit each other like we went not dead on in the face and you know she was she was white so she, she two black eyes like instantly and I was like wow I knew she wasn't gonna sue me because I was like my best friend but I was just like I'm not, I'm just done with this school. Like I keep giving people black eyes and you know. So yeah, if you enjoyed this story, make sure you give it a big thumb up. If you made it this far, you're not yet subscribed. If you made it this far, you're not yet subscribed. Why? Like hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all of my social media accounts. Make sure you click the link down below to check out this unit or whatever. It's like really soft, but my head's itching underneath here. So yeah, that will conclude today's video. And on that note, Bye.